Hello, everybody. Otaka Mom here. And um, so it is now day for us. It's, it's not day 14. It'd be 16. Yeah. So it's day 16 of us in quarantine. Uh, for our state, they officially put us in uh, stay at home orders uh, Friday at midnight, which would be Saturday. So um, so now we are officially under stay at home orders here. And so getting a little stir crazy, <laughs> even though I'm probably one of the best social, social distancers out there. <coughs> Excuse me. That's just allergies still, um, still that time of the year. So, so the, <laughs> um, as you could probably guess from the pictures that are scrolling across your screen, um, we are going to talk about Tiger King, Murder, Madness, and Mayhem, which is now, uh, on Netflix. Um, now I remember I had seen the trailer for this before it was released and I just, then I just kind of forgot about it. But then I started, every saw everybody online seemed to be posting stuff, stuff about Tiger King, um, and how just bat crazy insane this show is. So, um. So I decided to check it out for myself, and holy cow! Oh my goodness! It's like one thing after another. I think one person's comment, um, one person's comment, um, and described this as the documentary equivalent of a documentary equivalent of a. Uh, of an infomercial because you think what you're seeing is just the tip of the iceberg, but then the, then the comes the, but wait, there's more, um, on this show. So if you're not familiar with the, with what this is, uh, it was a documentary and it's a doc, it's a seven part, uh, documentary show, uh, about Joe exotic, um, who, um, who used to run, a uh, zoo, uh, a private zoo in um in Oklahoma and um and just his personality is just like scary at times but funny at other times it's like it's like kind of all over the place now he's like a gay libertarian uh redneck uh type who um who puts out music and any, he, and he happens to own probably one of the, he happened to own probably one of the biggest collection of lions and tigers and of these big cats. And the documentary basically goes into his story of the ownership of these cats, uh, plus his rivalry with a fellow, um, with another sanctuary in Florida, uh, run by this woman named Carol Baskin. And, and it also features all these other like quirky type characters within the big cat world, um, which is which I didn't realize was actually a thing. <laughs> and they actually have a whole communication connection, um, which actually shouldn't surprise me at this point because it's like every uh, anything you can think of has like a community associated with it, where they have their own little quirks and all that. And what this documentary has shown is that big cat owners are nuts. Um, now there is talk in the show about animal abuse and everything. You don't actually see any real abuse per se, nothing like nothing, nothing seriously bad, but I mean, you see things that he probably shouldn't be doing, um, in the documentary. Um, so it isn't like overt, like abuse that would have you shaking your head or, uh, or just like. Be they, I mean, the closest is probably him shooting a gun in the air to try to get a get another lion off, get another lion or tiger off of him that's about something on his boot. But but other than that, the, the other than that, you don't really see any real quote unquote abuse per se. Although his although his treatment of the animals isn't the best, it isn't like overt abuse. It's it's basically the that of a man who uh, is just struggling just to keep himself and tigers a tigers and lions alive in a sanctuary but but just the different things that go on on this sh on this person's life it's like 
oh my lord um and it's just absolutely insane um so the so a lot of things that documentary explores is along with the big cat world um how these different uh big cat owners have their own like little cults as it were um so they all have a little cult of personalities is explored in episode two um in episode three you find out about uh you find out more about uh Carol Baskins and how she's maybe not who she pretends to be, uh, the type of person she is. And, and it goes into, uh, the documentary goes into a lot of these people's lives and, uh, and basically tells the story in a way that's just like really compelling and, and it's just absolutely insane. And you have all these people that are involved and, uh, <coughs> and he's different, um, personalities that are involved in this and and it's like you think you think joe's got to stay wait until you meet this person or wait until you meet this person and it's like oh my goodness um it is it, it's just the human equivalent of a car wreck you just you cannot turn away once you start watching this show um the only reason at one point I had to pause watching it was because my son was in the room because <laughs> the show is TVMA. So just to make you aware, because it does, along, you know, along with the, along with the alleged tiger abuse, there's also, um, there's also some explicit sex talk. There's some drugs, definitely drugs involved in this. Um, let's talk about drugs. There's talk about, um, there's some swearing. <coughs> I shouldn't say there's some swearing. There's a lot of swearing. Um, there's some stuff that's uh, there's some stuff that can get some that can get graphic at times in it. So, like for example, um, or be or at least not graphic, at least be upsetting. Um, so, for example, there's one. There was a person on staff with uh, Joe Exotic who they don't explain exactly how it happened, but she ended up losing her arm to one of the tigers and they show footage of the day that happened. And, and of course they blur out the, the most graphic part of the whole thing. Um, and what the, of what the tiger actually did to her arm. And she chose to, and just showing the cult of personality with this, she chose to, uh, she chose to, uh, I should say he, because he, because that's how they identify, but oh well, I didn't know them as a he at the time. So anyway, so she chose to, um, instead of, instead of taking two years to rebuild, rehabilitate her arm, she just told the doctors just to amputate it, uh, cause she wanted to go back to work. <coughs> and, um, so she was back like seven days after it. And you learn later that she was in Afghanistan and Iraq. And that's like, it's a wonder she has such a terrible poster. No wonder she has such a laissez-faire, uh, laissez-faire attitude about losing her arm, um, to the tiger. But, um, but you, yeah, you just have such, like, such strong personalities and egos and, and all this. It's just like a really big combination of everything going on, um, with this. And, and it is, it's just really, really insane um what goes on in this show and uh and honestly <clears throat> and honestly if you're if you're uh, as long as every everybody pretty much at this point in the in the country is stuck in quarantine at this point in some, first in one degree or another <clears throat> so if you're if so if you're looking for something to really watch while you're stuck in quarantine this would be the show to do it um this would be the show this would definitely be the show to watch uh, I'm actually going to be looking online and looking at the podcast because there's also a podcast that was released before the documentary um, that is on um, that is on app uh, iTunes. So there is a do- there is a podcast about this case on iTunes, and uh, and yeah, this that's what I'm definitely going to be listening to, and. Uh, and this is me trying to do one that is not a spoiler review of this, of this show, because it is just absolutely crazy insane. Um, 
And I can't highly recommend it more because you're just going to be like, because you're just really like me while I was watching. It was like with my mouth agape. I'm like, oh my God. It was, it's, it's like, it's crazy. And I mean, crazy. Um, so yeah, so that is Tiger King, Murder, Madness, and Mayhem. Thumbs up from me. Watch it. Um, so I, and I will try to find something else to, uh, review in the meantime, since I am on, uh, along with everybody else in the country, I am on quarantine. Um, so I will see you another time. Okay. Bye.